Hey there, hope you are doing well. In this session, we are going to solve one of the most frequently asked SQL based interview question for data analytics and data engineering profiles. Solution query and table DDL along with insert statement to insert data for your practice is provided in the description box. Please go and check it out for your practice. Let's look at the data set that we have. We have sales table here where we have fields like sales year, sales month and sales amount. If you closely look at this table, we have a couple of rows where we do not have value for month and amount. So the task here we have is to calculate month name and sales amount for the rows where we do not have month name and sales amount. Now, how you will calculate sales amount here? So default, we will use thousand as a sales amount wherever we are missing sales amount and month. So let's solve this problem. So here I'm going to break down the solution into multiple parts and at the end, I will show you the aggregated query. It is good to divide your solution and then aggregate it at the end. So I will say select then from schema name DBO and table name that we have. I will use table alias as S and I will refer to a field S dot sales year. Here I will add one new field which will have row number. Okay. And row number will be added as per the current order of the rows that we have in the table. So I will use row underscore number function here over and here we need to define the order in which we need row number. So order by clause we will have to use and we are not going to order data in certain order. We want to keep the data in its own order and then add row number. So we will say select none. So this will not shuffle the uh, order of records and this will retain the existing order and add row number and I will say as row number. Now let's look at the result of this query first. F5 you can see that uh, we have I miss s dot month here sales month and s dot sales amount as well. Now let's look at the result of this query. Now we have got the additional column which is having row number for, for each row. So I can also uh, refer to this column as a month number. If you look at the month names, right? This is Jan and month number is one. And then we do not have month name for the Feb, but I can derive that month name using month number that we have. So let's look at how to do that. So I will remove this logic that I added. I'm going to club it, but for now, I will delete it or I will just cut it down from here. I will use one of the date and time function to create or derive new field which will have date value for each month and that date will be first day of the month. So here I will use date from parts. I need to provide a value for year. So s dot sales underscore year and for the month number, I will use the logic that I just showed you uh, using row number how we derive the month number. And here I will remove this column alias and for day I will say one. Now how it will look like so let's give it a alias to this column as date. Now let's look at the result of this query execute. Okay awesome. Now we have additional column called month date and you can see that we have first day of each month. So this is January 1st, February 1st, March 1st, April 1st and so on. So you from this date now I can derive a month name right from this value I will take the month name. So I will say use one of the date and time function date name which will help us to derive month name from this day. Now if I again try to show you the result of this query F5 to execute awesome. Now I have month name January, February, March and so on. So wherever month name is missing we have got the month name for that row as well. So instead of selecting this column, now I will refer to this column in the result. So our query should be, I will take this just above here. I will remove this existing month field and this is the column that we need. So we have sales year and month name we derived from this logic and we have sales amount. Now here one more thing that we need to do here. Amount is also missing along with the month. We need to calculate amount as a 1000 sales amount. So here I will use one of the conditional function that is if and I will say expression is going to be if sales amount is null I want 1000 as default sales amount otherwise s dot sales 
amount so what is the field name let's look at yeah this is the field this is going to be as alias will be sales amount now let's look at the result of this query and we got the result that we uh, that we were looking for wherever month name was missing we have month name derived and sales amount default as thousand i hope you understand the logic that i implemented and explained if you are new on our channel then subscribe us and visit our channel to watch more such videos do not forget to like and share this video with your friends thank you for watching